Hi, in this um, demonstration, I just want to show how you could take an image that maybe you got from Google, and if it wasn't transparent, like this image over here, you could make it transparent like this image over here. You can make the background transparent. So when the background's transparent for an image, it basically, as you see the thumbnail, you could see right through to the background there. And this image here, if I just open it up in a viewer, Let's see, open with um, photos. Uh, you can see that the background is transparent. Compared to this one over here, open with photos. Uh, the background is white and it also has something at the bottom. So say I wanted to take this image and make the background transparent instead of white. Microsoft Paint. Um, I found I couldn't do it with that. So what I do is I looked online for free image editing software that runs online. And this address right here, www.favicon-generator.org slash image editor, this works. And in case that's too small, here you can see what the URL is. And that URL, when you bring it in, you come up to this online image editor and it's free so what i do is i take my um, picture here and i drag and i drop it and then it loads it online to the editor and um, something about when i had the file new i had it set to be transparent yes so that when i drag and drop the image here and i do the magic wand tool and i click on the white area boom the background becomes transparent. I could zoom in holding the control and the mouse wheel. All right. And the other thing I have, so I could just have this superhero image is I wanted to use the eraser and I'll just erase this part. Okay. And now I have uh, the same picture of the superhero, but with the background transparent, I can now do a save as and a PNG will preserve that transparency. And I'll say, okay, it's still using the name download or I could change the name to superhero if I wanted to say, okay. Um, and by default, I'm putting it in my desktop and I'll just save it. And then you should see, okay, it popped up over here. And now I have a transparent version. So just to go over that, once again, it's, um, let me start it over again. So here is the online image editor. First, what I make sure is that for a new file that the transparency is set to yes. I drag and drop the image. I use the magic wand with the transparency set to yes from the file new. And I click on the area that I want to transparentize. And then for the bottom, I could just use this to erase this extra information here. And then I just do a save as and I could replace the one that's there already. And now I have a transparent image. Um, there you go.